today I'm able to get into my studio. It's like seven weeks into lockdown. Uh, to come in and check the post is what they say, but we'll come up and have a look anyway. Let's see. This lovely building, it was an old mill um, in the Falls Road in Belfast. <clears throat> So this is where all the artists are on the fourth floor and this is my studio. Just as it was, printing presses, mm -hmm. lovely new printing press, some drawings, a lovely plant chest. Really, I did leave it just as it was. So, yep, yeah, this is West Belfast and the Black Mountain. This is the view. So you go from the other window. Black Mountain, usually some interesting garden activities there, like bouncy castles bigger than the house. I think this is Clonard Monastery. So basically it's in the Falls Road just at the divide if i look here yep there's the dividing wall there that divides the two sections of the community you see it there so it's basically right on the divide but it's a really really lovely place to work beautiful studios and i miss it so much It's a bit smaller than it actually is. I was just really thinking of where I'd left off before we, you know, we had the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, in the last year, you know, I've worked on a series of etchings these are just the little look books that kind of accompanied them. Um, this was a harlot's progress. It's easier to look at this than the great big um, book that I actually made for it. was quick. It's just a quick little, look. little series of works that I'm working on as well called Dark Fairy Tales originally started in Luxembourg. I think I love more than anything, you know, in printmaking, I love the tones from aquatinting, you know, which is why I you know make some really lovely graphic kind of images these are all in sort of different proof states that's what i call them morrigan which is in lots of european sort of tales it's three sisters but it's one I think there's about 15 different images in there, but as I said, there are different stages of um, editioning. Lots of stuff in progress, lots of stuff to keep me going for a long time. I really wanted to take you to my studio rather than just trying to figure out what I do from a few scribbles sort of at home.
I'm really in love. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Nuts. And they show sort of drawings for some of the pieces of mapping. Some Japanese paper. And then I'm probably going to open it upside down. This is one of the holographs that I made that formed a, a book which came out from the wall. It's just, just one of the Not so detailed um, versions that didn't make it in, but it's still really quite lovely. Here's my favourite horse. Mm, trying some quick colour in that. This colour graph on waxed Japanese kozu. I didn't know how to do this with one hand, but I was going to try and fold it up. Yeah, it's basically like this and then to the back. I do have a massive series of these in my current exhibition.